what's up what's up everybody oh my goodness family how are you how are you me i hope you have been well cinema si miss i have really really missed you it's been a minute i haven't been here i took a break and uh, went for a short holiday but now i am back with a bang and i have really really missed you guys so like the first thing Nikki Rudy I was just thinking about your family and you guys despite me being away you have kept on surprising me you have kept on supporting my channel it has kept growing and growing we are on the road to 5k subscribers thank you guys because all oh, this is not me but you guys and guess what today I went to the salon nakaje hope you like it yeah see me that's my picture there at the salon oh gosh yeah anyway too many stories i can talk and talk and talk and talk but guys if you are here for the first time karibu sana karibu means welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you are very welcome you are the reason that i keep coming back for more and more information now guys today I'm here to answer your questions. I have been looking and seeing all those questions that you guys have been asking me. And I'm here to try and address some of those questions. And hopefully I'm going to be of help to you. The last video I did down there, down there, go check it out. It is in the description link was about jobs, especially for nurses who are in Kenya. And I said that the government, the UK government and the Kenyan government, the prime minister and the president of Kenya had sealed a deal to allow nurses to come to the UK to come and work in the UK, jobless nurses to come and work in the UK. So that's um, process has been closed now we are waiting for the lucky nurses that have been selected and hopefully we'll be able to see those that have got that opportunity but out of that one of the questions that was coming was what about carers are carers included so this particular program was only for nurses you have to be a qualified nurse and you have to be a registered nurse as well to qualify for that program so unfortunately that program did not incorporate carers however if you want to come as a carer to the uk i did say that there are other routes that you can come you can apply for a for a senior carer job through the skilled worker visa route or through the health and care worker visa so that's something that you could try and get a, a job there. Like I said in my previous videos, if you haven't watched my previous videos, go back to them. I'm going to leave a description link of the previous videos down there. So go check them out. See the process of making that application. Follow the application process. Register at LinkedIn. Register at um, indeed.com and also register with nhs so i'm going to leave the link down there as well for nhs and that is again somewhere that you can start looking this is particularly for people who are in the healthcare industry nhs is the national health service so if you're looking for a job within the national health service you can find your jobs there another question or questions that have been coming through what about other jobs so the jobs are many they are so 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 many starting from engineering to IT to occupational therapists to social workers. By the way, if you're a social worker, social workers are in the shortage occupation list. If you are a social worker and you have been looking to work in the UK, social workers are currently in the shortage occupation list. Again, go down there and look at that shortage occupation list and you could, you could get a job in the UK. Okay. Now, drivers. People have been asking, what about drivers, truck drivers, truck drivers, people, uh, I mean, companies like Yodo, companies like Amazon, 
companies like uh which other one there's quite a number of them are looking for drivers so if you're a driver go directly to their website yodel is y-o-d-e-l you can find it on google look if they've got job opportunities um amazon is another one that they look for for drivers if you're a truck driver they are looking for those jobs so again go look into their website directly and see if you're going to get a job so another question what about teachers teachers are also in the shortage occupation list so this list i'm going to pin this list in this video again because the list of occupations is endless it's such a long list and i can go over one by one because it's such a long 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 list but the ones that i know for sure the jobs that i know are going like hotcakes is engineering um if you're an engineer whether it's mechanical engineer aero engineer electrical engineer all those people all those categories in engineering they are always looking for jobs and it is in the shortage occupation list teachers are also in the shortage occupation list all those in the healthcare professional nurses doctors ot's social workers all of them are in the shortage occupation list including dentists and all those that are in the medical category those are in the shortage occupation list it so if you're an it person again those are also in fact that's the main uh, job that's bringing people to the uk it's the main one that has brought the taken the biggest percentage i'm going to pin the percentage down here for people that are coming from abroad to come and do the it and you can see the biggest percentage that people have come to the uk on a skilled worker visa uh people with it skills so if you're there this is your opportunity grab it grab it grab it another question is what about nannies i did address this question previously but people keep asking about nannies and i said currently the uk is not taking nannies as a skilled worker because it's not in the skilled occupation list but if you want to do nannies your best point of start is maybe go to another eu country maybe try like germany because i know for sure germany do take nannies and whilst you're in germany undertake a course if you want to come to the uk eventually undertake a course uh, like maybe a healthcare course or something along those lines whilst you're in germany and then you can apply at a later time to come and work in the uk so it will be easy for you to cross over because you're already in europe so nannies unfortunately if you're outside eu they are not taking those jobs <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me so they're not taking um they're not taking nannies at the moment through the through the skilled worker visa because it's not counted as a skilled worker job okay so if you're asking that question i hope i have answered you the jobs are there the problem is the getting the job or i'm not actually going to say it's a problem what you need to focus on first is getting the job and then do your ielts exam okay if you haven't got a degree if you have a degree or a master's degree there's no need for you to do ielts because you can certify your degree there's a link that you can use to certify your degree and that's going to be acceptable if you haven't got a, a degree level um you may have to undertake that ielts exam okay but from what i have been told is that not everyone is undertaking the ielts exam it's good because it gives you a bit of an understanding of the how english is spoken people that have undertaken it say that it's usually twisted in a different way so if your first language is not english it can be a bit tricky for you so i let helps you to understand um maybe english in a different way i really don't know how to put it but i have not done i let myself and i really don't know what to expect i'm only going by what i have been told by people that have undertaken the i let all right so but the opportunities are there go back to um this video that i keep saying follow indeed.com register yourself with linkedin put your profile 
update your cv have a very good cv and let your cv be noticeable because you know there's going to be a lot of competition between this you're not the only applicant there's going to be other applicants that are going to be applying for these jobs so competition is high and you need to have a cv that is standing out if you want to be picked up by these employers all right so i hope i have given you uh more tips a few more tips drop your questions down below i think what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be setting a day each week maybe like towards the end of the week like a sunday or saturday i'll be coming live to answer all the questions that i have picked up over the week because i get a lot of questions and sometimes the best way to address those questions is come on live and i can address those questions i don't know everything so if i don't know i will tell you i don't know don't get upset when i say i don't know because for sure i really don't know everything but i will try and help where i can so too much for that guys i'm going to end this video here and again i just want to say thank you so 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 much for all your support Thank you for following my channel. Thank you for keep subscribing. We are on the road to 5k subscribers. And I say that, let me tell you, for you to start climbing a tree, you start from the bottom. So I'm not even celebrating 10,000. I'm celebrating that 5,000 that we are headed to. Because at one point, I had nothing. I had no subscribers. In fact, for a very long, 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 long time, I was stuck on 500 subscribers. Now we are... 2.5 or thereabout and uh, it's just been a matter of a very short time since i got to a thousand subscribers we've just been going climbing 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 and all this is because of you guys it's because of your support and i do not take it for granted so thank you so much guys and i'm going to be coming back with another video and until the next time guys we say baraka mm -hmm.